Hello there everybody, this is Peter Beckenham, the Village Marketer, and as always talking to you from my little Thai village, way up near the Cambodian border. And I'm very grateful, very grateful to be actually online at all. We've had absolutely horrible internet connections today. Ian, thank you mate, thank you for joining me. Today, simple topic, but extremely important, right? I've called it Cool, contagious customer attraction tips. Cool, contagious customer attraction tips. This is a way to not just attract new customers, but keep them attracted to you. That's what I want to hopefully achieve with you today. Hey, Connie, thanks for joining me. Okay. So, first of all, four steps to start with, right? Four steps. One, identify your ideal client. Now, I know you've probably all heard those words before, but hang in there with me for a moment. I've got something to share with you. Ideal, sorry, identify your ideal client. What I mean by that is this. Think about this. Does your prospective customer have a need? Think about that. Do they have a need? Secondly, is that need emotionally strong enough that has forced them to go searching for a solution? Right? So this is all part of your ideal client. One, that they have a need. Two, that the need is emotionally strong enough that has forced them to start making and searching for a solution. And three, they've been searching for a solution, but at this point, they haven't found what they're looking for. That, to me, is the ideal client. Right? Because it's too darn hard to convince people, and you shouldn't have to, convince people to to have a look at something if they don't think they've got a need for it, right? By all means, you can talk with them and share with them and expand their vision and take them down a whole lot of discussions, things, until they realise, ooh, Peter, maybe you're right, maybe I do have a need. But my goodness, that's a lot of work, right? So that's why I'm saying it'd be far better and an ideal client to me is one that you're sure they have a need. Secondly, they've acknowledged they've got a need and they're, and they're emotionally disturbed enough to go looking for a solution, but they haven't found it yet. Or they've found a whole lot of solutions, but they don't know which one to pick. That to me is my ideal client, okay? My ideal customer. And I wanted to share that to start with because if we're looking at cool ways to attract customers, make sure you're attracting the right sort. That's why I introduced that to you, right? Secondly, what I'd like you to do is this. Make two lists. This is what I do, and I'm going to share. It's pretty simple because I like simple things, right? I always make two lists when I'm trying to ascertain whether these particular prospects are what I'm looking for. One list is simply this. What are their, how would you say it, um, fears and frustrations. That's on one side. Then on the other side, what are their... Um, aspirations. What are their wants? Okay? Fears, frustration, wants and aspirations. Two lists, right? And underneath each list, I list at least seven to ten points for each of them. Hi, hey, Anthony. Seven to ten points under each of those two lists because that focuses me. That focuses me on the needs that I am looking to sort for, right? Looking on the needs. That also helps me get to the right customers. Right? You don't want, I mean, I have been there and I've made so many mistakes online. I've been online now for 11 years and I'm a slow learner, but for a lot of years I was talking to the wrong people. I thought I was doing well, right? But the people I was talking to either didn't have a need or didn't have the money or weren't interested. And I wasn't smart enough to pick it up. So I'm just sharing with you now, if you follow what I'm trying to say to you, you will cut through that and you will start getting to the right potential customer and that's when you can attract them, all right? Because they're already looking for you. Next, so once you've done that, secondly, then discover where in the heck they hang out. Where are these customers? Where do you find them? And then, how do you approach them? Very important. Make sure you approach it in a way that's acceptable to them, not acceptable to you, all right? Thirdly, know your business inside and out. Know exactly what you can offer people. Know exactly what your solutions are, but then put it aside. Put it aside. 
Okay, what you're going to focus on is them, not your solution. And the fourth point, position yourself, how do we just say this, as the answer. Position yourself as the answer they've been looking for. How do you do that? Very simply by creating content that gets their attention. And content creation is key to you. Whether you do it as a blog post or a video like this, because this is content creation. I'm creating content, right? And I'm trying to position myself by doing this, right? That someone might think, hey, this old Aussie guy in Thailand might be worth talking to. I mean, that's what it's all about. I'm being totally, whoops, sorry. I'm being totally open and honest with you, right? So create content, blog posts, videos, audios, whatever it is, but consistently create content that you think your target audience may be interested in. That's how you position yourself, all right? So they're the things to me that can attract customers, all right? Plus a few other smart things, and I'll finish with this. One, in order to build great relationships, you've got to have great conversations, not preaching, right? I was in a webinar this morning, and I can tell you, all I got was preaching from these people. Truly drove me crazy. In fact, I didn't stay. I didn't stay, to be honest with you. I had to go because they were just going on. They're not, not trying to sell you things, but they were preaching, not having a conversation with us at all. And they were actually very condescending as well. Another one, this is important, and I missed this when I first started online. Build your network before you need it. I'll say that again. Build your network before you need it. And what I mean by that is this. Look for people who are sharp right now. Look for smart operators. Look for people who you know, you know, will be real growth potential. Okay? And hook onto them now. And build relationships with them now. And then work with them and go with them. Very important. In other words, the best answer is to follow the person, not the position. Okay? Identify who's in your network right now who are smart cookies and on the rise and go with them and keep with them. I can tell you, if you build relationships with action takers who are, who are really about to take off, then your business will take off as well. All right? Next, know the person's agenda and then help them to accomplish it. Many times you can be in a conversation with somebody, right, and they're not paying attention to you. The reason they're not paying attention to you is because their agenda is more important than yours. So make sure you know what their agenda is, okay? Know what it is, and if you don't fit into their agenda, then have the guts and, and the, the, just be open enough saying, is this the right time to speak with you right now, or should we pick another time? Just say it, get it out front. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. And finally, last point, enthusiasm. Be enthusiastic. It's the most contagious thing in the world. That, to me, is probably the biggest thing about building communications with customers. Now, hang in there. Ah, oh, I don't know where I've got. I've got a really good handout for you, and I don't know where I put the darn thing. But it's called 50 plus attraction factors. If you're interested in it, send me a personal message. I wish I could find it. I don't know where I put it because I've been battling with internet all day. Anyway, it's a, it's a, it's a PDF for you, 50 plus attraction factors, right? If you're interested in it, let me know. Thank you very much for your attention today. If you like this video, you got something out of it, please like, comment, share it. And more important than that, I just want to say thanks for sharing your valuable time with me. Talk to you again tomorrow, God willing, okay? Take care. Bye for now.